Hey folks, this is Nod, we're playing Space Engineers, and uh, there has been some developments with my merge block uh, fiasco. Um, uh, last episode I was talking about how my space station has got these, this merge block set up with like four blocks like this, and uh, how they're really not airtight, so uh, you know, I got the oxygen generator, air vent, and uh, if I close off this section, uh, the air blocks are uh, the air blocks. The merge blocks are not um, are not airproof. They don't hold air. So um, so I've been trying to figure out what was going on with that. And um, well, I got some help. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but uh, uh, Dimasam. <laughs> I'm not pronouncing that right. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, gave me this brilliant suggestion here. Uh, and uh, I've taken his advice, at least I've interpreted it the best I can, and I believe this is what he meant, and uh, it's not this setup, it's, uh, I believe he's talking about putting four blocks, one in each corner, like this, and then using the slope, angle slope uh, blocks here, to create a seal. So I've done that over here, it creates this kind of funky looking, uh, Kind of cool looking, um, but anyway, let's go see uh, if that is actually um, if it works or not. So hop in here, same thing again. I got an oxygen tank, an air vent. I'm in creative mode, so it. Uh... All right, so from in here, it just looks like a completely sealed passageway, which is kind of what we want, I suppose. So if I close these doors, dun dun dun! Look at that. Air! <laughs> How cool is that? So, um, that totally works. Um, and uh, one more test before we d uh, finish here. Let's see. So, if I actually disconnect these blocks, um, or will it actually disconnect? I, I believe it will because this is just sort of, these blocks are just, they're only touching on the edges, so it, it shouldn't be actually connected, even though it's creating an air seal. Uh, all right, let's try disconnecting the air, uh, the merge blocks. Um, what am I doing here? Okay, merge blocks. Just disconnect them all. Off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that sort of works, eh? Yeah. So they just pop pop free like that. So that is a thing. So that is how you make merge blocks. Airtight, apparently. You do this sort of configuration. Possibly there's other configurations, but that definitely works. I guess you can make this wider or taller or whatnot. Um, yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for that suggestion. I'm going to maybe... Um, <laughs> maybe I'm going to give that a try on my space station. And uh, Yeah, because I, I should be able to set it up like this. No problem. Okay, well here we are back at the station, and uh, you see, as you can see, I've been busy adding this new configuration of merge blocks. Uh, I've added it not everywhere, but here and there, a couple of strategic locations. For example, this one's holding on my new med bay sort of setup here, so I can detach that if I want to. And um, this is like on the back of the station here. Uh, let's see, crazy flying. And I've got. Um, I've removed a couple of sections of the station that I didn't like, and uh, I've, in the place I've added the new uh, configuration again. So that's just sort of a thing. Got another one here, and um, it's all looking kind of good. So I'm I'm, good, I'm happy now. So I can, I can I got a modular station back again, which is what I kind of wanted. And I've also sort of been busy. Um, the sun's not quite in the right spot right now, but um, my solar farms are working wonderfully. Uh, I had this one set up before, but I, uh, I've actually increased the size of this one on the other side, so I now have two identical panels that are slowly spinning around, and um, eventually I'll just uh, have them track the sun better, but uh, for now they're just going to run around. And that's not producing anything because it's in complete shade. I don't know, where is the sun? The sun is like... Ah, yeah, okay. That'll be producing some O2 in a few minutes here, once it rotates back up. This one should be doing pretty good. Yep, yep. Alright, so let me uh, show you what I got going on inside here. This is kind of exciting stuff. Free oxygen. It's so nice to have air in my station. So, uh, speaking of that, I should probably close the door. 
Try open that one. Critical. Oh, critical! <laughs> what the heck did I do? Wow, 6%. That's no good. Ah, oh, no, it's coming out. Wow, I guess I got, got my foot stuck in the door or something. Jeez. Anyway. So, uh, got this marvelous view of it. Yes, health is low. Marvelous view of a, uh, of the oxygen farms out there. And I've set up some um, LCD panels with the pertinent information. See, my station isn't quite up to a... Like the air vents are only putting out, well, I'm up to like 36% uh, pressurization. Oxygen farms currently are putting out 26% of um, their potential, I suppose. And my oxygen tanks have nothing in it because it's still trying to, uh, it's prioritizing giving me air so I can breathe versus filling up the tanks, which is good. So we got that, that's kind of fun. Put another one of these over here. Uh, health healing nanobots are really doing the, doing their job. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's good. Uh, and I just ran through a. Uh, this is where the merge blocks here. I painted the walls black in here just to, so it kind of differentiates where the actual connections are, so I can see. And I put doors on either side so I can seal them off if I ever do detach these things. So uh, yeah, that's all going pretty good. How are we doing down here? 50 percentage according to that, but yeah, it's more like 30 or 40 percent. Um, yeah, these are the new. Uh, well, this is where I removed the section, so I put up some signs here, like "Do not enter. Do not go through this door, or you will evacuate all the air in the station, and you will die horribly." So um, yeah, there's nothing out there. To, it's just a door way out out into the uh, into the abyss. <laughs> all right. So um, anyway, that's uh, very cool. I'm very glad that I've got my merge blocks back. That, that's kind of cool. So, um, anyway, I will continue working on the station and um, keep you apprised as, uh, as we proceed. Alrighty, well, uh, as usual, uh, subscribe if you like this stuff, um, give me a thumbs up, and uh, thank you for the comments, I appreciate those, I would love to hear more. Uh, take care. Thank <laughs> you.